dead. I was talking to the, uh, what guy? The He's saying this is all real odd. The crickets. He's saying they're not local, you know? Not from around here? He's saying they're the kind you buy at a pet store to feed your lizard or... God sent something. them. Yeah. But, well... Mm. So, I called around all the pet stores, and wouldn't you know... Look, kid, I don't have time for this now. Jimmy, Just keep it up. Then pack your shit. Okay. No. Lolly is coming to take you to the cabin. Yeah, but no buts! He... Just do it! Stavros, he's figured it out! Paul's, oh man, Dimitri's figured it out and, oh, play. I drained the wound, removed the foreign object, cut away the necrotic tissue and filled them full of IV antibiotic. What was the foreign object? Now, when you say a uh, foreign object. Shotgun pellet looked like. It had some fabric attached to it, so possible the pellet passed through something before getting into Lester's hand. Yes! Someone. Pardon? Can I talk to him? Well, he's sedated now on account of he was septic when you brought him in. So, like I said, <sighs> real nasty stuff. Right, yeah, yeah. It'll be a while before you can ask Evidence. me a question. Hey, you seen Ida? Evidence! Wait, is she here? Yeah, upstairs. <sighs> Just had the baby. What? Can you tell Bill this immediately and seize that stuff as evidence? I need the pellet, I need the bit of clothing. That Lester's house. Molly, you, you're gonna ruin the case if you do this. You need a warrant. I think Bill would be amenable. search and you won't be able to use the evidence. I'm saying this like I'm watching a procedural and that's going to matter. I'm... Did he go away with it? I thought he'd left it in there. St. Lawrence, your window. The Romans burn him alive. Because he was Christian. Maybe. But I think it was because the Romans were raised by wolves. You know what wolves do. They hunt. They kill. That's why I never bought into the Jungle Book. The boy's raised by wolves. He becomes friends with a bear and a panther. I don't think so. I knew a guy once had a 110-pound Rottweiler. And one night, this girl thought it'd be funny to get down on all fours and let the dog hump her. This is just a bitch in heat as far as he's concerned. And he's not leaving until he gets what he came for. Had to shoot it behind the ear to get it off of her. I don't, uh, I don't. Well, I'm saying that the Romans, raised by wolves, they see a guy turning water into wine. What do they do? They eat him. Because there are no saints in the animal kingdom. Only breakfast and dinner. It's like he's telling him what he's doing to him. And he has no idea. Whoa. Oh shit! 
Oh God, Officer Grimley. We're done. You can stay the night, but you gotta hit the road come dawn. Here's what I owe you. <coughs> yeah, so I was wondering, with this fella I arrested, how come he was there, you know? Oh shit! On the street. On that street, I mean, if he is our guy and not, you know, some pastor, actually. You do not touch Officer Grimley. Well, see, I'm not sure what I'm looking for. It's a problem. Plus, you know, it's dark out, so maybe go back out tomorrow. Oh, I was thinking I might drive out in the morning and take a look at Lester's car. That maybe after we could get together, you know, compare notes on this thing. Sure. Compare notes. That'd be. Yeah, I'd I'd like that. Okay, so tomorrow then. Okay. It's not gonna happen because he's about to get. Don't hurt him, please, Lorne. Not the daughter. Don't. Help you? You're not supposed to be here. Oh no, I'm pretty sure I'm right where I'm supposed to be. This is a community. People watch each other's backs. And I'm going inside and I'm calling the cops. Which building? The one with the Jew bus outside? Ah, uh, prick. You know, some people think you don't need alarms on second story windows. Another way they save money is they don't hook up the alarm to the phone line. Shit. So the bell rings, but the cops don't come. Or they come, but only after the neighbors call. Which, um, if this community's tight, as you say, you know, just might be quick enough to save your life. Or your children's lives. Maybe. Say, Irene. You have a nice night. We are gonna have a falling out for Marvo if you touch a hair on that man's head or a hair on Grimmy's head. Vern should be there. <sighs> well, that's a baby, all right. Smell her. So. How much do you want? I don't wanna... need details. Just tell me you're taking care of it. Is it a Bernadette Burns idea? His mother's name. I wanted Allie. And now he's dead. That man always knew how to win an argument. over Lester. It is over. I mean, what is there even to say? <laughs> what is there even to say? This is going to be the shortest review in the world. Just brilliant. I feel like karma is coming through this episode. We're going to have the evidence. There's going to be the shotgun pellet. There's going to be the bit of cloth. I don't see how Lester's going to get out of this now. He better not, or I'm going to be miffed. And I think Lord Marvo is also about to get in some trouble too. But I hope trouble hits Lauren before Lauren hits Officer Grimley. I love the interaction between um, the Jewish neighbour and Officer Grimley. That started out so weird, but it got really, really beautiful. It was good to see someone be able to share some wisdom with him 
because he really needs that right now. He's, he's really trying to figure out who, you know, what kind of man is he? And he's being extremely brave. And I just, I want that to pay off. I don't want him to die. I really don't want the daughter hurt either. So the fur is going to fly if either of those two are harmed by the end of this season. I'm just going to warn you in advance. And now the two guys from Fargo, they now know about Lord Malvo. They've got a picture. So Lauren is going to have some predators of his own to be fighting. My money would still be on Lauren, but... You know, he doesn't know they're coming. You know, who has he really been up against? You know, anyone is going to look terrifying up against Lester Nygaard or Officer Grimley or the post office man or the personal trainer. I want to see Lord Malvo have to try this shit on someone worthy, a proper predator. And I think he's about to meet his match in the Fargo Man, so this is going to be great I really I think he'll up his game I think they'll up their game and we could get some real stuff going down so I'm excited about that and Molly is just like fantastic she's working this stuff out she's getting closer she's got Bill on board again so Hopefully Lester is well and truly fucked this time. Yeah, brilliant. And I also really like the cinematography, particularly in this episode. The way that they set that all up with the buying of the gun. and uh, That was fantastic. This was a really good episode. I really, really, really enjoyed this episode. So thank you for watching. And until the next time, bye-bye.